All right, so some quick fraction addition and subtraction problems. Uh, we're going to go through these really quick, big pictures, number sentences, and be done. So we're going to start with a pizza. Gregor has a pizza divided up into eighths. So that means that it's divided up into eight pieces. So let's just draw that before we go any farther. So eight pieces is easy. You do a plus sign with a cross through it. I know that's not perfect, but you get the idea. Um, I can actually probably do that. It makes it a little bit more, more better, sort of. All right, so he has a pizza divided into eights. He eats three eights of the pizza. So he eats, that means he eats three of the eight pieces. And how much pizza is left over? Left over tells us we're going to subtract. But right now, it would be easy just to count. One, two, three, four, five. So we know there's five pieces left. But let's go ahead and do the subtraction. So when we have a whole pizza, we have eight out of eight pieces total. So we start out with eight eighths of a pizza. He's going to eat, which means he takes away three eighths of the pizza. How much is left over? Well, we know when we add and subtract with fractions, if the denominator is the same, we don't have to do anything. We just put that there at the end. It doesn't change. It's the same. And then we just subtract across the top. So 8 minus 3 is 5. So we know that there is 5 eighths of the pizza right there, OK? Left over. Pretty simple. All right, let's look at Beatrice here. Beatrice has a cake for her birthday. She eats 1 6 of the cake. Her sister eats four sixths of the cake. Her sister's kind of a pig, I guess. So how much of the cake is left? So we know when it's left, that's again a subtraction word. So I'm going to divide this up like this. This is my cake. Now those should be equal, um, since I'm just kind of guesstimating. They don't look very equal, and my hand slipped here, but just pretend those are all equal, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So we know that we have six. This is, cake was divided into six, and she got to eat one, and her sister got to eat, let's do a darker color, four, six, one, two, three, Four. So we can see one, we know that one six is left over just by our picture. But let's say we didn't have time to draw a picture. How would we, how would we write out this problem as a number sentence like that? Well, we'd start out with our total cake, which is six out of six pieces. And we would subtract the one six that Beatrice got to eat. So we don't change our bottom here in subtraction. 6 minus 1 is 5, but our sister here, she ate 4, 6. So we got to take our 5, and we're going to subtract what our sister ate, which is 4, 6. So we leave our 6 on the bottom. We know that's not going to change because we're subtracting. And 5 minus 4 is 1. So we know that 1, 6 of the cake is left over. Looks like a two-year-old wrote that, but it's really hard to write with a mouse. You should try it sometime. All right, now this one's a little bit trickier. So there are 13 marbles in a bag. Five marbles are yellow. All right, so let's just kind of pay attention to this. Five marbles are yellow, four marbles are red, and four marbles are blue. What fraction of the marbles is yellow and red? So, we can write these all as fractions. So we have, and I'm going to use this as a yellow. Yellow, we know there's 13 total, and we know 5 of them are yellow. 
so 5 out of 13 are yellow. We know that 4 out of 13 are red, and we know that 4 out of 13 are blue. Alright, so because here's the blue, red, and yellow. Alright, so we got that from there. We can write all that out. Now, if we add all these up, if we just put plus signs between them, the bottom would still be 13, and we would have 5 plus 4, which is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We would have 13 thirteenths, but we don't want to know how many we have total. We want to know what fraction of the marbles is yellow and red. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just take the yellow. The yellow is 5 thirteenths, and the red is 4 thirteenths. We're going to add those up. The bottom doesn't change in addition, just like it doesn't change in subtraction, and 5 plus 4 is 9. So our answer would be 9 thirteenths of the marbles are yellow and red. Yeah. So addition and subtraction, super easy. Um, you don't change the denominator because you're not changing how many are total. There are still 13 total marbles in all this. 13, 13, 13. It's just the top that is changing. So in the end, you're still talking about 13 total marbles. You just want to know how much of each of these parts. So those are some subtraction and addition fraction word problems.